Hi everybody. Welcome back to Unchain Crochet. The body of my Freebird Cape scarf is done. Very happy with it so far. Uh, it is a little uh, shorter than I am wanting on myself. So if you want to steam block yours, you can make it the same size as I started with, the 224 chains. But if you don't, you can figure your gauge and figure how many chains you need to make to get it 80 inches. Just, and I would probably make it a little shorter than that because when you wash and dry it, it will probably grow some with the washing and drying. But steam blocking kills the acrylic quite nicely. I showed you how to do that with the pocket. I'm gonna try this on for you so you can see how it fits me, where it falls on my arms. I've already got the ironing board down and out, <laughs> ready to do this, and I'm packing for vacation, but this is going with me, so I've gotta get it done, get it far enough along that I can just add my pockets. One feather is completed, the feather tutorial is coming soon, um, and they're beautiful, I gotta say. <laughs> um, if I do say so myself. So this is where it falls on me right now. That wrinkle there. It's a little short here for my liking. So when this gets blocked, it's gonna grow a couple inches. And you can turn up the top and make it more like a collar, a shawl collar and pin it if you want. You could clip a couple of your feathers there, your two feathers. The pockets are going here thereabouts. So there it is this way. And then if you want to wear it the other way, you're going to flip it inside out and upside down. It's kind of how the world is these days, inside out and upside down. Everything's just uh, kind of crazy right now. Sorry, I got my comfy clothes on for the car ride. <laughs> We're leaving hopefully by two or three. And here it is with the cookie yarn up. The bottom is the tan trinity stitch done in I Love This Yarn by Hobby Lobby's Yarn Bee. And the top is Jarbo Cookie from Hobby, H-O-B-B-I-I. -I, and it's done in the feather stitch. If you steam black, realize it's going to add so much more drape. And it's going to grow a little on you. So definitely, if you're just watching this, Go back to the beginning of the playlist, see the mistakes I made, the adjustments I made, and make your pockets first, and steam block them if you're planning to steam block. So make your pockets a little smaller than you want the finished pocket, and then steam block it. If you don't want to steam block, go for your actual size you're going for, or close to it. So I'm not adding the pockets until I get this steam block, since the pockets are already steam blocked. We don't want to sew those on. And then try to steam block this. Uh, it, the steam blocking also adds a bit of sheen to the cookie yarn. And it makes the I Love This Yarn really drape wonderfully. You don't have these ridges. Like you can see lines in it. I color blended the two different skeins I had. One's actually I Love This Yarn. And the other one is Crafter Secret. Um, so I just kind of color blended them so there's two different ones in there they were just a tiny bit off from each other and I don't care because all the colors in here I don't care <laughs> all right so this is going to the ironing board the next time you see it um, it will be completed and on me and I'm gonna put that uh, at the top of the playlist so you can everybody can see it at the beginning of the playlist and then maybe at the end of the video uh, series so we'll see we're going to do some photo shooting and videotaping, have a slideshow of all my finished tutorial items while we're on vacation and uh, play a game with y'all. So, and my husband's going to learn to crochet, probably on the beach or maybe Riverside. We'll see. Have a great day. Bye. Mm -hmm.